FCC has opened the world's eyes to the importance of recycling and keeping communities efficient. And guess what? We've been doing this for over 100 years. Since 1900, we have led the world in innovating waste management. You know the trucks with mechanical arms that pick up trash bins and dump them back into the truck? And the ones fueled by clean burning natural gas? That was introduced by us, and we haven't stopped there. Most of the machinery and technology invented to improve and innovate waste management have come from FCC. Now we want to show future generations like yours how to see their world differently. Your generation is the future, and what it will look like depends on what you do starting right now. It's no joke when we say that Americans make more than 500 million tons of waste each year. That's enough to fill a football stadium from top to bottom five times a day. It's quite staggering, but it can be changed. And that starts with changing even the smallest of bad habits. Recycling may seem like a simple thing. You already know what it is. But why don't we do it? The Environmental Protection Agency estimates that 75% of the American waste stream is recyclable, but we only recycle about 35% of it. Let's change that together. Let's get that last 40% we need to make our world a better, more efficient place. And that starts at home. Recycling only works when families recycle right and, of course, always recycle. Not only does it help make things we need, it also helps save our resources and curb pollution. The first step is to learn and remember what you can and can't recycle. Can. Glass bottles and jars. Glass food and beverage containers. Aluminum and metal cans. Loose metal jar lids, steel bottle caps. Foil. Newspapers, magazines and brochures. Cardboard and paper bags. Paperback books and cartons. Greeting cards, regular and junk mail. Phone books. File folders and office paper. Can't. Food and drinks. Dirty pizza boxes. Household crystal glasses. Ceramics. Large items like mattresses or furniture. Animals. Paper towels. Pots and pans. Used medical equipment and syringes. Yard waste. Electronics. Gadgets. Clothes. Balls. Styrofoam. Now that you know what you can and can't recycle, you can start making a difference from your home, school, and workplace. Let's see how to recycle. 1. Start recycling today. Check if your family already has a recycling program and start recycling. If you don't have one, find out how to get one started. 2. Put storage bins in place. The key to a successful home recycling program is the storage bin setup. Set up bins according to the type of material you can recycle and label them. Make sure they have covered lids when used outside. Once your system is set up, recycling is easy. 3. Clean off the food. Make sure you clean all bottles and cans before recycling them, and remember to remove the plastic cap and label. Only put the top of the pizza box in the bin if the bottom is too dirty, to prevent flies both at home and at the recycling facility. 4. Paper over plastic, always. Use paper bags from the grocery store or a cardboard box to store recycling, never plastic. Plastic grocery bags aren't good to recycle because they stop the process once in the facility. 5. Prepare for pickup. Every week on your neighborhood's recycling day, take the bins out to your curb so the waste can be taken to the materials recovery facility to be processed, but we like to call it the MRF. The MRF is where all the magic of recycling happens. All that stuff you recycled gets dumped into piles, weighed, sent through a maze of conveyors to be organized over and over, analyzed and sorted by super advanced robots, stored into huge bunkers, and then crushed into giant cubes to be sent off and made into new things for us to use and enjoy. And there you have it, Recycling 101. Today, you'll see how it works with your own eyes. Then you'll be ready to start recycling and spread the word to your family and friends about how easy recycling is and how important it is for our economy, our communities, and our planet.